did, yeah. Did you set up the... You didn't set up this camera. Uh, no, not yet. No, All right, we'll, we'll do it on the, the next, next game. Yeah, we'll do it. All right, guys. Welcome to the first week of Chicago Overwatch. We got season two. Action. Yeah. Justice will be done. Welcome our stream viewers to our first week. We're going to see what this team can do. I'll be well, busy soon enough. Try not to get too loud. Make the game too loud. Is our voice is too loud and annoying? Um, let us know, and we'll do our best to adjust on the fly. Gotta move that. Yeah. All right. So we've got our two teams: blue team, Team Jade. A couple returning individuals there. We got Nerezeri, S.J. Ripper. Those guys. The destruction caused by the last game. Here. But everybody else is it doing. It reminds things. me of home. Countly, played by Deus Ex, looking really good. Um, the other team, Y sent by Irritable. Big player, Zave, coming back. For those of you that watched last season, you know that Zave is the guy to watch from the Camara. Everybody else, they see the Dave with you. guys that's just joining us today. We're going to see what he's able to do here. Tracer can be really devastating on these points. It looks like him and Zave just making it happen. SJ Ripper, the only one back there. They've kind of got the team split up here a bit, but it's just not going to be enough. Nobody's responding to the point. Evo getting taken down. And we got Team Onyx picking up the point real early. Steamrolled in there. My it did. That was pretty quick. No alts being used. No. Nope. They're doing pretty nicely here. Alright. Here we go. Carry with our tracer play here. Picking off this mercy. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Getting defended there by Nerezir. He's gonna get chased back. Hawks pick up picks up a quick kill. Got a good little double hit scan to deal with not only that tracer with the flashbang but you also got well we also are aware hawk we've been seeing him play especially on our tuesday night get togethers he's quite the uh, aggressive uh, dps player so keep that him nice shot great shot from uh, sloth there both those guys coming in here together sloth and hawk two partners trying to make something happen here they got a strong position up here. Sloth is holding on to his ulti, but oh. Zave just coming in from the back. Zave knew immediately. He knows who's going for it. And he pops that ult. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Evo. Evo, no. Oh, in there. That is. Oh, that, that almost was huge. I know. I was waiting for that yeah. big ult there. And it looks like our team Onyx is taking a commanding lead here at the start. So hold on, we've got two, I, I think between Hawk and Sloth, I love that their names go together, they have to be on to Zave at this point. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, they gotta know. Oh. SJ Ripper trying to make something happen, buys a little bit of time. Yeah, he does, buys some time, gets people off that, off the payload. Pops a panic all, but things just are not looking good for these two right now. They've got a good team composition to deal with this. Ooh, but Zave is just... There we go. All right, they recognize the threat. Oh, but it's taken out, but not after taking out a couple of the other team there. But Carrie doing a really good job picking up these kills. Oh, Zave again. Didn't get anybody off on that. No, they're doing a much better job holding this point and Hawk going right for that. Farah, but they move through relatively uncontested. Ignite 10, I don't know, Deus Ex might want to back up there. You're getting pretty greedy. He's going to be cut off from the rest of the team and it's just going to get picked off here. I'm trying to run back, but that's not what you want to end up being. 
So I know we've been monitoring our Discord chat a little bit. You know which one of these teams have been playing together a little bit? So out of these two, I mean, I saw action on both of them. I think Jade, if I remember correctly, they might have been represented on Tuesday night. I think I saw them practicing together. So we've got some teams that have had opportunities to practice together, but sometimes when it's game night and you're here, you can definitely in increase the intensity. Kwai Senpai, big miss there. Sloth picks up the kill. Here we go. Now they're starting to make something happen. Jade team's making the hole. Irritable doesn't quite have his res up yet, so they're going to have to just hang back and defend for a minute. And DSX is the, uh, I think you might have already said that, is yep. the Ignite. I just wanted to make sure. All right, now we've got Jade picking up a couple this is more the alts. Corner. Facing the wrong direction, that's not going to help. Kwai Senpai's ult is down right now, which means that Nerezeris might have an opportunity here to shred him. Carries back on that tracer, zipping around the back line, trying to get behind him. But Sloth able to pick up their Roadhog, but here comes... They're really close together. Jade is really packed in there. Got a Diva ult popping out, but that's not going to catch anybody, but it does buy a little bit of time. Yep. Decides to ult the McCree. Oh, get out of there. Oh, oh and wow. Narazuri picks up a huge ult, completely wow. shutting down that res, and they're chasing him right down, but Jade's way overextended right now. Really dangerous. If he can get the kills, it's going to be worth it, but if he doesn't, ooh, I don't know. That might not have been a good idea. Deus Ex trying to chase him down here, getting some big shots from long distance, wow. and they're gonna back up and regroup. This is the best we've seen Jade do yet. Oh. Yeah, by far. Oh, carry picking up that kill, and Deus Ex deciding it's worth it to risk it to keep him down, and there goes Carrie. It's a really good hold here. They're really definitely making him think here. Just really good. They can get into that right room right there. That Roadhog can shred him and he lets him out. Yeah, they're doing a really good job on this hold here. Wow, nice. don't know how he got that shot in there, but here goes the ult. Zave slamming him down. Ooh, that hurts. They gotta back up here. They just got the two healers left. So we saw Evo nice. do a switch here with an Ana. Yes, I think that was working out well. Ooh, we well, missed that jump. That's probably a good idea because it can take advantage of that more than a res at this point. Ooh, does he have wall hacks on? How do you know he was there? SJ Ripper trying to make something happen, but they're just bouncing around. Wasn't able to get his ult up. There is here. He might be able to get his, his ult up. It's not looking good. Oh. He was think Senpai and Shreds it. finishing it up there. Ooh. Not bad, all right. So the first game looks fairly action-packed. Uh, Team Jade managed to make something happen there at the end, which was very cool to see. And we're noticing that there seems like there's a couple little hiccups on the stream, so we apologize for that. I'm not sure what that's accounted for. We can try and look into it. All right, so Realistically, a pretty good hold there. It was looking pretty bad for Team Jade, to be honest, but... Let's, uh... This is just me here. Yeah, I was impressed. I mean, Jade's one of the teams that we stopped playing, like I said earlier. Um, but... I'm going to tilt this camera. I don't want to just look at myself. This might cause a hiccup in the stream. Yo. We can have chat time later. Let's uh, fire our stream back up. Thank you, thank you. All right, what do we got here? We got a usual uh, usual teams here. We got Hawk though switching over to Farah. Just gonna see, I think, if we can take it to the air a bit. Maybe they were anticipating Carry staying on as his uh, tracer, which while he did well, isn't necessarily that effective against Farah. Unfortunately, he went to Soldier, so might be a little not quite as good. Our stream is hanging bad right now. Oh no, there we go. Alright, we're back in business. Alright, let's see what these guys can do on the hold here. 
Team Onyx, if they can hold them all the way down here, they got a good win on their hands here. They took care of the first point real easy. See if they can hold it well too, but Hawk, we got coming in from the back there. Working on that back line. Oh, a lot of good targets there, but it's gonna be tough to make anything happen. Ooh, he's bouncing around, so they've already shattered nearly this front point here. That is a fast, fast break in there. They're doing a really good job breaking in here. Trading one for one though, but Carey's still up and he's definitely one of their stronger players and so far we've seen. Got Naraziri shielding the team as they start to slowly move forward. Sloth using that shield really well, but Zave making it really difficult. Ooh, Ripper getting aggressive there, jumping right in. Oh yeah, trying to make something happen, but he goes down, but not without Naraziri taking them out. Oh, and he's gonna get the charge kill. Unbelievably strong. Nice. And the flame, that's gonna potentially get them this point. Oh. Especially if he's just gonna stay up and he's got his ult up as well. Is he gonna burn it now? Or is he gonna wait? Is he gonna wait until they cap it? Looks like they're getting the safe cap. Nice. Wow. Team J totally throws it back in their faces. Let's see, Mirazari, he's looking, he's looking hungry to me. He's peeking out a little bit there, getting off the payload. Oh yeah. He was a big main tank last season, and this yes. time we're seeing some major improvement in his play. Completely decimated their line and then charged that mercy. Team Onyx taking a really strong high position here to kind of rain death from above. We've got the switch off of Farah, which means that Hawk's not going to be able to get up there like he was before. Quiet Senpai using that shield. But SJ Ripper's coming around the back, trying to disrupt it. Making it miserable for trades. It backs up, but you know, while that position's really helpful, Team J's just pushing the yeah, cart along. Yeah, they're right around that corner. I mean, that's helpful, I feel, when they break out, but once they make it around that bed, I don't know if it's that attractive. Bicep by in the back, catches two. Big all from Dorcas Dor there. Oh, counter all oh, by wow. Deus Ex, and they're keeping him up. And Deus Ex is going to last longer. Yeah. Naraziri tries oh. to make something happen. He gets knocked down. They're zipping around. Carrie's cleaning up. And I felt like that was a panic call. I do. They're still going, though. Oh, wow. Carrie staying alive. Or Casey. Casey. Carrie. God. It's, it's Carrie. I know. I, my R's and S's. There's are no so shields similar. up. Oh, but they hide behind the cart, which is just enough to Ooh. do it. And he's in and he's out. Just trying to Get survive. Get out of there, Ripper. Oh. All right, they're going to regroup here for another push here. But that was, that was pretty strong. Wow. They got a lot of time left, too. But momentum's down. We'll see what they're able to do. Ooh, Hawk. Shut that pharmacy it's down killed. in the back there. They're going to need to do a little regroup and uh, Sloth and Yibo can team up here. They see Sloth try and make some move up there. Oh, but oh careful. He's being be the aggressor. Oh, and he breaks out. Wow. Definitely recognize Zave as a major target, but it's really hard to get to him. I mean, he's doing a great job resisting that. All right, they're contesting that front line. They've got a potential alt here that they can use it. Oh, he just gets bounced off. But he's behind him. They might not even see him coming. Oh, no. But he misses it. Sorry, I thought for sure he was going to go in there. Gets bounced up, but not enough. But you know what? They, they drew the res out. Did A for effort. On Maybe that. it's worth it. We'll see. And they're gonna kind of crumble here at the end. Wow. Well, they still got time here. They still got time. We're good. Oh yeah. All right. Nerezuri's having a great game. I'm excited oh, yeah. to kind of see if he was able to pull this off again. This is a lot different than week one of season one. I will say that much. A lot oh, yeah. more team coordination happening here right off the bat. Absolutely. This team is ready to work together. They're going for the win. We're having oh, switches. We got monkey. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, Great picked up right away. Wow. Shreds. Jeez. Evo trying to make something happen here, keeping his team up. They're going to be down Hawk, though. And he'll be able to re get quickly, but. Yeah, but it's hurt not having that DPS there. Yep. Oh. Carry just runs him down right here with this wow. alted soldier you know this was again another thing that we didn't see last season either was these anna soldier combos yep. that are so strong yeah we saw none of that none of that play we're having much much better team alts on this one 
They scatter the teams. They got to regroup here. Got some good alt potential here. If they're able to link, you know, Nerazuri's alt, SJ Ripper's alt. They've got a three tank thing going here. And, you know, it can be challenging to put out the damage numbers that they need to. Oh, Shreds again, sneaking out of the top there, trying to make some good picks. Ooh, blocks the alt. Wow. You got an opportunity here to pick up Kawaii Senpai. Zave's in the back. They're just making it really uncomfortable back there while they're working on the Roadhog. Look at that. They're just all split up. And the res comes out to just undo all their hard work. Wow. But Hawk, oh, wow. Doing a good job knocking out some targets. They got one more push left in them. Yep. Ooh, got to be careful. Deus Ex oh, got to back yeah. up. Deus Ex is being way aggressive there. So there are teams. They still got a lot of ults. Ooh. Mm. There was a, definitely an opportunity there, but you know what? It might work if you can get Nerazuri up. Oh, no. That's not good. Really needed to pop that ult there, but yeah. might be able to take Kawhi Senpai out. Pops his ult at just the right time. Move up to Sloth. Sloth's hurt. There. Oh, there he goes. There we Sloth's go. Sloth's up. All right, now we're now we're doing something here for oh, Team Jade. Moving. Okay. Jade is doing what they got to do, but Zave comes in again. They just got to keep the cart moving. That's all they got to keep doing here. Watch shreds up there. Oh, man. He's not gonna be able to happen either. Oh man. Wow. All right, here we go. This is our opportunity to extend this just a little bit longer, and it's looking pretty good. There. No, no. Carry's on the point. He's not gonna let this one go. Not off. Not off. They just got one on there though. Kawhi oh, Senpai comes okay, in for Senpai. a big alt, pushes them stand, back. Stay the point, guys. Wow. Look Ooh. At that. Oh no. Zave Not going to be no. enough. Wow. Holy cow. That was close matches. That was great. All right, so this is round one for our teams there. That was a really good back and forth. Wow. I was surprised. It really was. So our matches this week are going to be Eichenwald, Dorado, and Li Zhang Tower. Let's see who gets to play the game. Yeah, so I'm again, anxious to see here. Our winners get a vinyl Perry. and Perry. It's going to be our play of the game. Victor. Or as I pronounced incorrectly, Casey. Ooh, 21 health. Pops is all super risky, but Yurtable keeps him up. Wow. The combination of teamwork just totally obliterates the other team. Really good play. I feel like Yertable should get a uh, should get an assist, assist on that. On that. Yeah, man. All right, nice. Do we want to do?